Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Hey Steve Books, I'm Camilla and today I'm bringing you a sort of wrap up of my month of reading for April and it was a really good month, I read 16 books in April um, even though I felt like it was quite chill in terms of actual reading and you know, we went on holiday for Easter break and I didn't read that much and yeah, I just thought it was a good month I got through a lot of books, a lot of shorter books but you know, just generally very good I will be wrapping it differently this time because I read it like mostly in three different parts. I participated in the Disability Readathon in April and I've already done a video to wrap those five books which were The Tea Dragon Society, Blind Spot, Show Me a Sign, Disfigured and We Are Never Meeting in Real Life. So yeah, I've reviewed each one of those books in my kind of wrap up for the disability readathon video. I'll link it up here so you can go and check it out. Um, so yeah, you'll get those reviews on there. In April, I was also reading through the long list and now more like the short list for the Women's Press for Fiction. So in my video of the Women's Press for Fiction reviews and short list um, predictions, in that video, you'll be able to see me review and wrap up those six books. So it was Creatures of Passage, This One Sky Day, The Book of Foreign Emptiness, The Island of Missing Trees, Careless, and The Exhibitionist. I'm still working on a couple more now, but it's quite exciting. Um, you'll be able to see which one did I give a two star to and which one did I give a five star to. So yeah, go and check out that video for those reviews. I also read three books from the Jadak Prize long list. So that involved The Crossing, which is part of actually the uh, children and YA uh, list. But from the adult list, I read Somebody Loves You and Honorifics. You'll be able to see my reviews again of those books in that video, which I will also link above so you can check it out. Um, but again, generally enjoyed those books. There's only one that was kind of forgettable to me, but it actually made the short list. <laughs> but anyway. And finally, I read two random books, basically just two books that I felt like reading in April that didn't have to do with all the prizes and stuff that I was following. The first was Our Lady of Mysterious Ailments by T.L. Huchu. So this is a second in the Library of the Dead. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be a trilogy. I think so. Anyway, it's gonna be a series. This is a sort of fantasy YA, which is based in a fantasy world, Scotland and in Edinburgh, where there are magic schools and yeah, magic libraries and the main character has the power to talk to the dead. And she's come, she's from a really like poor background. She lives with her grandmother and her younger sister. And I think she feels like she has to take on quite a lot to take care of them. And so she does it obviously <laughs> for the money. So. Um, if the dead come to talk to her to give a message to their living relatives or family, whatever, um, then usually she'll do like a, a back charge while she'll charge the family for receiving the message. And it's a really kind of funny and fresh voice, I think, in Hawaii fantasy, especially in Scotland. And I think it's a great alternative to a lot of other fantasy Scotland magic school stuff, you know? So generally really good. And I love that it's kind of a very, it's a very working class book in my mind. And sometimes it was a bit much actually, because um, the main character, she's clearly like always on survival mode because she needs to make enough money to eat and like just, yeah, survive and pay rent and all of that. But at times, I think like in this book, at some point she actually uh, does a message for someone who's dying and then they die. And then she's just like basically robbing their course for money. And even her friends are like, what are you doing? Um, so I feel like it gets a bit much, but I also really like the commentary on it and on like the disparity between people. And uh, yeah, just generally it's so, so good. I cannot wait again for the next book. The second one that I read uh, as a bit of a, <laughs> it was like a last minute, like in the last few days of, of the month, I was like, oh, I feel like reading The Road Trip by Ben O'Leary. So I just picked it up and I read it in a few days and I was actually quite pulled. Like her books really have a way that I just want to keep reading. Like I think it's something to do with the way that she obviously goes between characters' perspective. So this is um, between the character, uh, like a female and a male character and they used to date. So you get the perspective when they met and when they were dating and now when they're like not seeing each other since they broke up. And she goes between and you don't really know what's happened, why they broke up, like it's a whole thing. And the intrigue was 
good. I, I was really entertained by the book. I think this is my least favorite of her three books that I've read. Uh, that was The Flat Share and The Switch. So yeah, I think this was my least favorite. And there was some stuff that I was like, ooh, why did you have to bring this in this book? Like it was quite a lot. Uh, and I don't know if it was always done that well. I think that's one of the kind of criticisms that I have. But yeah, I just really like Beth O'Leary's writing. I love the, the way that she does like an almost like a very traditional romance, but she also has like a lot, talks about a lot of other issues, including depression and yeah, just loads of it. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. I really recommend Beth O'Leary generally as a writer. I would say definitely start with The Flash Air or The Switch because they were really good. And I think her next one is a no-show and I can't wait to read that. After we finishing the road trip, I was actually, I really want to get to the next one. Um, Cause I just, yeah, I enjoyed her style very much. So now that I'm looking at like the list, I can sort of see, I've only read one male writer in April and that was T.L. Huchu who wrote Our Lady of Mysterious Ailments. And obviously it's kind of gets um, skewed a little bit by the fact that I obviously read so many books for the Women's Prize, which obviously means that the writers were women. Um, I read three nonfiction, but these obviously were all for the disability readathon. Uh, again, a lot of the other ones were mostly poetry or uh, fiction, like novels. And quite a few YA as well. I was quite surprised <laughs> by that, especially because it's not something that I love to do. But somehow, you know, some, some of the themes, I think, um, attract me. So it's kind of a good... But yeah, generally a really good reading month. This is a bit of like a... A swift video. I just wanted to wrap up the month generally, but also just to kind of um, point you toward like the different sections of reading that I've done throughout the month. So if you obviously want to see my reviews of the Women's Right for Fiction, then you can go and check them out. Um, but yeah, I think throughout the month, my favorite book was Creatures of Passage by Mohorwa Yejide. Uh, this was my favorite from the Women's Right for Fiction. And in terms of like next to all the other ones, it comes really close with The Crossing from Magic Man, which I really, really enjoyed. Um, and just like both those books were gut-wrenching, but just so beautifully written, like big recommend for both of those books from me, definitely. So yeah, these were the 16 books that I read. Um, <laughs> it feels like quite a lot, which is also why I thought it'd be great to separate the video, because it would have been a really long video, if not if I had to review all of those in one video. So yes, anyway, what have you read in April? Let me know how it went for you. Like if you read one book, was it good? Did you enjoy the experience? If you read many books, which one was your favorite? Just let me know any recommendations you may have. And if you read any of the books that I've mentioned, let me know what you thought, if you agree with me or not. Or you know, just go on the different videos and check out what I thought more specifically. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't hesitate to leave a comment. Just say hi. Don't hesitate to leave a thumbs up. That would be really good for me. And I'll see you to subscribe to my channel. And I see you back. <laughs> Bye.